everyone, and welcome back to a little review. Uh, probably going to be a short one. Uh, I'm your host, as ever, Purple Minai. Uh, welcome back, or welcome if you are new. Amelia is my wife, uh, the Obsidian Pet Lesmar. I just wanted to mention because she is currently furious. Well, she's not furious. She is currently unhappy that I, I'm doing a different review without her. No, I'm just confused because I thought you were doing the other one. Not yet. We'll, we'll do the other one after this. So, spoilers, uh, depending on whether or not this uploads or not. Uh, before the other one, she is going to be in a review very soon. But anyway, welcome back. Uh, today I'm covering a game that I loved as a child. Uh, Rogue Trooper, it's more specifically the Redux, uh, based off the comics of the same name, I believe. Why are you like miming like you've not already been in a video already? <laughs> yeah, I, if I played as a child, is the original, and then I said more specifically the Redux. God, just shut up. People don't understand. Anyway, so yeah, this is a game I played as a child and I didn't even realise was getting a remaster. Even though they called it a redux, like it was a remake, it's a remaster. It's like the same as the remaster of Destroy Humans that came out uh, a couple couple of years ago, four years ago, I think. Uh, they called that. Um, they didn't. They marketed it as like a remake, but no, it's just a remaster. I'll probably cover that game at some point. Who knows? Uh, so anyway, uh, we'll get into our little review and a breakdown. Uh, as a genetically modified soldier, uh, from a baby with mohawks, for some reason, uh, you must defend a planet from an invasion from a hostile group of humans. Yeah, pretty simple, pretty run of the mill. Uh, Rogue Trooper is an over-the-shoulder third-person shooter that is played over the course of several levels. Of course it is, it's one of the older games where it's levels. You don't see levels as much anymore. Mainly it's just open worlds, which usually have not a lot in it, looking at you, Ubisoft. Uh, along the way you will unlock new weapons and gadgets in order to overcome your adversaries, mostly facing them alone. Not completely though, because there are some AI that help you in some levels. Uh, collecting scrap is essential in order to upgrade your gear as well as to craft ammo and explosives. Uh, you can salvage these from dead enemies, giving more depending on rank and class, so your regular infantry won't give a lot. But then, like your sergeants or your mech suits later on will give you more. Uh, for all from piles of it left around the levels. Uh, as mentioned, this is going to be very quick, so we're already near the end. Uh, due to the original game's age, side content is limited to two other modes uh, called Stronghold and Progressive. Uh, Stronghold tasks you with defending a wounded soldier from enemies for a certain time limit, whereas Progressive is, of course, a wave mode. Uh, both modes can also be played in the online co-op. Uh, definitely recommend that for Stronghold, because Stronghold can easily get way too crazy. Uh, as I mentioned, I used to play the PS2 original a lot when I was a kid, becoming obsessed with the gameplay and story, especially the world building and stuff. Pardon me. While it may be rough around the edges with some janky physics and controls, good god, they are janky. Uh, definitely should have improved on that before they... Like before anything, because they have not aged too well. They're still an impressive game, worth the time and effort to play. Definitely recommend. Uh, I've realised I've done more like remasters of classics than the actual classic games. But anyway, that about sums it up. Definitely recommend. Uh, I don't know where you can really pick it up. I don't think it's an exclusive. All I remember is buying this as soon as I saw it like day one of it coming out but anyway thank you ever so much for listening i've been your host as ever purple window 8 uh all my links are in the description amelia is struggling not to laugh at the video she's watching on her phone uh her links are in the description as well if you're interested from her two sentences she said for this so yeah thank you ever so much for listening and i'll see you in the next one